As you can see, the game is being super generous with coins right now, but there is a very good reason for that. Coins are used to buy various things, but they are also used to save your game and transport between areas. There are five worlds total in this game, and it costs 100 coins to transport between them once you get to that point. We are not there yet. This is only the first level of the game. These idols cannot be killed. Do not even bother trying. However, if you want to collect the coins without getting hit, it is a good idea to use your shield. Unfortunately, your shield can also take only a limited number of hits before it disappears. Because it will break. Which it really shouldn't, but hey, it's a Ghosts and Goblins game. Did you expect it to be fair? Didn't think so. Now there is a hidden chest around here, but I am not going to get it yet, with a good reason. Instead, I'm going to waste time by getting all these fairy tombstones and passing throughout the first level. Currently, we are in the graveyard, which, believe it or not, is the easiest set of levels to go through. Now, as you can see, that diamond is on a bit of zombie ground, which will attack us if we try to step on it. Now, I know the foot cheese repels it, but there is something else that will also make you immune to the zombie ground. It is this hidden chest right here. When you're at full armor and you get another one like that, you will be invincible for 20 seconds. Which is extremely generous considering what game we are playing. Pretty much, you cannot be damaged. You are invincible. Unfortunately, this armor does not last forever. But thankfully, it lasted long enough for us to get over here, get that gem, see that there's another prize wheel with full health here. We do not need it, so we do not need to buy it. And to find that there's a hidden chest here with several coins and a life up. With that, hit the checkpoint with your down strike and continue. I know there is a gem over there, and there is a way to get it. I'm not going to get it right now, because I want to kill this enemy first. Otherwise, he will get in our way. We do not want that. Instead, we want to kill off these tombstones first, because again, they will get in the way. Though not for the reason you might think. You can only make the camera face behind you, you cannot make it turn any other way. But making it face behind you is a very good thing, as we attempt to make this jump. I am probably going to die. Let's see. Nope, I made it. With that, we get the jewel. Jump back. Kill this thing. And continue on with the level. We are actually almost done, because this is a very short level. As expected, this is the introductory level. This is to get us used to the game's controls. And when you press the start screen, you will see pretty much all of your stats. We have 6 lives, 170 coins, 45 fairies, 1 doom coin, and a whole bunch of abilities in the lower left that you don't know what they are. You can always press select to check. At the moment, we can throw our shield and do mighty blow, which is different from our downward strike. In terms of, it's a forward thrust. And we can throw our shield to hit enemies, however, this does take away from our shield's endur endurance, so we've got to be careful. With another hidden chest full of treasures, we will move on. My suggestion to you is to keep going forward instead of going left into the little cave that you'll uh, barely see there. Kill that enemy, kill the ghost, get the key, get the another power up for the fire sword, which was very nice of the game to give us. Get the last fairies, the next tombstone we break will have a doom coin, but there are no more for this level, so it will have to wait. Kill this guy and open this last chest. We are invincible and ready for the final gauntlet of the level. Which is in the little cave that I was talking about earlier. Pretty much we have to kill everything in here. 
It's only in this cave where we have to actually kill everything. We have also gotten a new ability for Maximo, which is the second strike. Extremely useful, something you do not want to lose. As you can see, there are three slots here. You can get more abilities, but only these three are locked. So when you die, you will not lose these, but if I said had a fourth ability, I would lose that if I died. Gotta be careful with that. Break the idol, and we are done the first level of the game. 99% mastery. I missed something, and that ticks me off. But you know what? I'm not trying to 100% the game, so let's move on. Right now, we are in the hub world. It is a nice little area. It gets more difficult as you defeat more levels. But the chests are also very nice rewards. I'm just going to show you around here quickly. Some enemies are here, though. You are not safe no matter where you go, Maximo. Achilles is always watching you. Always. I know there's a chest here. Come on. In here is another fire sword upgrade if you need it. There are all sorts of treasures in the hub world. You want to get them each time because, let's face it, it's a good source of stuff. Kill the zombie. Enjoy the fact that you're able to slaughter everything. Jump down to get the bag of coins real quick. By the way, bags of coins are worth 5, diamonds are worth 10, and obviously a coin is worth 1. And there's a little secret up here. Which you will want to get. Now, when I first found this, this actually blew my mind. Because I didn't know that skull could move. But if you hit the switch here, it can. There's an armor upgrade in there if you need it. And there's a hidden chest over here. Hmm. Once again, it has a lot of money. You want to collect money. Hmm. Killed that thing, got whatever it was holding. I have no idea what it was. My suspicion is that it was a restorer for the shield because we have all 10 slots for the shield back. Which is good. You can also pick up things which restore the power on your sword as well. If you have the sword power, otherwise it's completely worthless. There is a full health over here too. And those are the only hidden chests of this area, I believe. There are only four. Or, yeah, four. Two coins in there. Way too many enemies in this area in general. Because it's a hub world, it should be safe, but you are never safe in Maximo. I'm not sure if I've said that already. Again, armor if you need it, which we do not, so we are not going to bother wasting the coins. And once you've gone in a complete circle in this area, we are going to save the game. Once I find that sword upgrade again. <laughs> Sorry. Because for some reason... No, wait, never mind. The tree was just blocking it. I thought the chest disappeared. That will refill our sword completely. We come up here, destroy the torch that's up here. And save the game at the pond. Like it says, 100 points for save or travel. So we will now save the game and name our file. Come on. And I will fail at spelling my own name. How sad is that? Come on. Said. You, and that is it. And that will be all for today, viewers. I am Riza Komasu. See you next time on Let's Play Maximo.